Hi guys, welcome back to Artastic Time with Miss Vaughn with our special guest, my granddaughter Hazel. Hi. Hi everybody. So today is Friday. We are going to do our last picture in our triad of galaxy pictures. We have our other ones right here that go together like this. And we're gonna add our last one to it. We have our lid still, we've got all of our paint, we've got our paint brushes and our water. So um, if you haven't painted yours black, go ahead and paint it black and let it dry. And uh, we'll get together and we'll go ahead and do this last painting and we'll show you how to tie them all together. So let's have fun, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Just like with our other little board, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and splatter this one, but we wanna set the two boards together so that your splatter will overlap along this line right here so that the pictures do look like they go together. So Hazel wanted to start first today. Mm. So go ahead and start with one of the colors. Let's do yellow. So she's gonna splatter her yellow over both sides a little bit, just like that. I know it's kind of hard to see this in the video, but I'll try to show you better at the end. So my yellow is right up here. So I'm just gonna try to splatter it along the same like it was. And one other thing that I have is I have this little light area right here, so I'm going to paint a little of that in there while Hazel's doing some of her splattering. And then I'll catch up. So I'm going to take my little brush and just get, I used a little bit of the purple and a little bit of the blue there. So I'm just going to kind of continue that shape. I'm holding both of them together so that I can get some of the same colors in there side by side. You want them to look similar, like they go together. I'm going to use orange. That's a tip. It doesn't matter how much paint you use. Just make sure you don't hit the table. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I know, it makes your fingers all colored with the paint. But thankfully, we can wash that right off. Mm -hmm. It's not like permanent paint. No. It's not like tie-dye. It's kid-safe, friendly paint. It's not toxic. You don't want to eat it, of course, but Ew. it that doesn't hurt be. you to get it a little bit on you. So, I'm pretty happy with this shape being pretty similar to the other side. Well then, so if it was toxic or... That's all right. Or, wait, I already used purple. <laughs> well, let's pull this water forward a little so we can reach it easier. I'm just gonna do a little more purple. It doesn't hurt to do a little more purple. Nope, it never hurts. So. Yeah. I'll use that after you. Oh. I'll go ahead and use it this time. Careful not to get the water on your painting. It'll leave drops on there. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and do some purple too. I so did I'm just going to kind of try to do it to where they're, you know, combined to where it looks like it's on both of them in some similar kind of pattern. And you already did orange? Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do orange real quick. Cause you gotta catch up to your other partner. Yep. Kinda like the Trolls movie. No troll left behind. <laughs> Did you do blue? Um, no, not yet. Let's get a little blue. <laughs> Got a string on there from my rag. Oops. <laughs> Silly, huh? Yep. It hit the paper. Yeah, that's why you want to make sure you put paper down so you yeah. don't make a big mess. Mm -hmm. You might need to dip a little more. Yeah. You don't 
don't really have to use the whole toothbrush. Just the tip, huh? Yeah. It splatters really good, doesn't it? Yep. It takes like three or four. Okay, so that was all our colors, wasn't it? Um, Other than I really wanted to add a little white. So I'm going to slide these over because I want to get a little bit of white on the whole thing. So I'm just going to dip a little in the white that we came up with. Yeah. And we I'm going to add my little touches of white here and there. So I've got some of that on my planet. I'll go back and redo my planets a little bit. Make it's them fun. stand out more. Yep. This is a layered painting, so you just keep working on it. And since I got some of that paint on my planet there, yeah, I will I just go back over that right planet. Mm -hmm. Let me set that I got to my side. water. I just finished my. There's hand certain hand. areas that I want more white than others, like along my Milky Way looking thing here. Yep. So I kind of went over it a little thicker than the rest of it. And I'm pretty happy with that. So like I said, I'll go back over this planet and clean that back up with the same colors that I did. And looking at my canvases, I kind of want a little more color in this one. So when Hazel's done, I'll add a little more color to it. Our fingers turn all white. Yeah. Even though they were like blue and, and so I kind of like a little more yellow in there. So yeah. I'm just going to come and do a little yellow. We can do a little paint brush to kind of splatter it, but... Yeah, it works easier with the toothbrush we found, though. <laughs> Splatters much better when it's the toothbrush. Yeah, it does. And we're just going to add a little bit of orange in there. And I'm a lot happier with that. Are you happy with yours? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're done with the toothbrush. I got it all over my... So I'm going to go ahead and move this one back out of my way. And like I said, I will fix that planet. I have a little bit of paint on these other planets, so I will just go back over all my planets. It doesn't really matter whether you do or you don't, but I want my planets to stand out a little more. So the next thing we're gonna do is decide, well, first of all, we need to let this dry. Yeah. So I guess we'll take a break for five minutes and we're gonna let our canvases dry. It should only take about five to 10 minutes at the most. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back and we'll continue working on our projects. Yep. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, our paint has dried. It's all ready for our next little thing we're gonna do. So I'm gonna move this one out of my way and I'm just gonna work on this one. So I'm gonna put another planet on this one and let me find my little brush here. Hmm. They're all upside down. I think that one will work. So I'm going to hmm. use... I'm gonna take this one. It's kind of pointy. I it think I'm going to use this, that. and I'm going to outline it with yellow. Hmm, I don't know what shape I should do. And it doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect circle. No, because you kind of paint over it and you fix it. Yeah. So you just want an outline here. I'm going to choose not black. It might blend in. Right. You need a lighter color that you can see. Um, I'm going to do, I don't know what shape. I'll do this shape again, like I did yesterday. Um, do you need the shape? Nope, go right ahead. Um. I'm going to start filling this one in. No, I'm not going to take the shape. I can't figure out what shape I want. What size you mean? Yeah. I'm They're gonna, all circles. They're just all different sizes. I'm going to take a little bit of blue, like the brush, and I'm going to outline that. Sorry if my hair's in the way, Nina. And then, that's a perfect C. You can always start out with the C. I always start out with that C. And then do it the rest of the way? Yep. All right, so this is filling in really nicely. I think I'm gonna make this one into a bright planet. So you're just gonna start laying your, layering your paint on there and you've gotta let each layer dry, don't forget, so your colors don't get all muddy. Mm-hmm. Let's rinse off this brush. My arm. Oh, sorry. 
I'm gonna be careful not to bump somebody's arm. It makes a wiggly spot. There we go. So I did a layer of yellow and I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'll come back and add some other colors to it to give it more depth. But I think the yellow is gonna help it pop off of there a little bit. <laughs> We want our planets to pop. Yep. So while that one's drying, I'm going to go back to my other ones and I'm going to fix my planets. Because I got splatter all over them, I'm just going to go in there and brighten those colors back up. I'm going to use some white. I'm not making the moon again like yesterday. I'm making Mars, but from another universe. Nice. It will look beautiful when you're done. I went ahead and put on some of that white. To help it pop? Yep. So I'm just starting with the first color, getting that all colored back in. Trying to be careful to keep it in a round shape. And then I need a little bit smaller brush for the other one. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna use this one. This one I did with more purple. I'm gonna do another planet. It doesn't have to be a perfect perfect circle and you can make a funny thing of it so we're just carefully recoloring where we splattered so that these come out into the foreground and your galaxy you stays in the background so just be careful and get you know a couple layers of paint back on there that C looks perfect. Hazel's working on making her new planets over there. <laughs> Let me pull that closer to you. Okay. Make sure to hold your um, thing down. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah, you can't like, like just let it wobble or then it's not it's not going to be a perfect circle like the planet. Oops, I almost dipped my hair in the paint. But you can always take a shower. Yep, yeah, that's true. It does wash off, doesn't it? Paint is going everywhere. Okay. I did not so. I didn't do that perfect of a circle, but I missed a few spots. That's okay, you can fill it in. Yep. So just work on your little planets, get them looking the way you want them to, after you've splattered so that they're in the foreground, not the background. Sorry, that was my phone. That's okay. I forgot to turn it up. So I try to get most of the down. paint off my brush before I start. A whole nother touching my canvas. I get a little bit of that off because I don't want that much color. I just want to touch a color in there. Yeah, like a little touch. Oops, I need that. Hmm. I'm gonna do the same, kind of same exact color, but this time I'm gonna use more white than I did with a whole nother, my other color. I use that much white. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of paint to do this. We still have quite a bit, and we did six paintings, and you guys did three. But Hazel and I used the same paint. Yeah. So as you can tell, that's quite a bit of paint I gave you, so you can try to do another project as well. You can paint on some paper. You could uh, get a piece of wood that's pretty nice from outside. Yep. 
Ooh, this is a light shade of purple. Maybe make a sign for your bedroom door. With a piece of old scrap wood. If you could find some laying around. Yep. So, I'm kind of going to do this. Look, Nana. Look what kind of shade it made. Oh, that's beautiful. I used white and purple. Ted Hazel made a lavender color. Yep. By mixing her paints. And, um... Two of my planets are from a whole nother universe. That's cool. I don't... I don't know what galaxy mine are from yet. <laughs> I'm making one... I'm making the moon a different color like I did with the sun. But on the big, the bigger canvas. I almost said vinegar. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Redoing my ring here on my Saturn. If you need to redo it, that is very fine. Cause just let it dry in between. Yep. You can paint over it as many times as you want. Yep. Just got to make sure it dries in between. So there's a little bit of lavender color in my moon. I like it. I do too. That looks really nice. I also like Nana's. I'm just using the lightest strokes to add a little bit of color to this. So it has a little bit of highlights. And sometimes you not, might not want to use the biggest, biggest brush to kind of fill it in. But no, it's, it's good to have lots of different size hand paint brushes on hand because you never know what size you're going to need. Like a pointy one, a flat one, there's lots of kinds. Yes, there is. Sometimes they turn scatticky if um, you, sometimes, so they turn scatticky if they're old. Uh, where the hairs all fly out? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like us girls hair when <laughs> we wake up. Yep, kind of, huh? So, I have fixed those planets. I'm pretty happy with the way those look. What do you think? I like it. So, while this one is still drying, I'm going to grab my other one and fix it real quick. Oops. I accidentally went straight with my yellow, but um, it is fine. Yep, it's just our art. We can make it look however we want. Mm -hmm. It's what makes you happy that counts. It's not what everybody else thinks. This is yeah. art can be pretty personal. Mm -hmm. If it brings you joy, that's the part that counts. If it brings other people joy on top of that, that's just a bonus. Yep. Right? <sighs> you what? That log's blown if... If that log is in that, it's blowing everywhere. Or it could be Trick's feet. You know, the wind is blowing today. Yes. So Hazel's hearing all these strange noises. Yep. And Anna does have birds living in her roof, strangely, because one of her logs is missing to her roof. Well, it's not missing, it's just well, broken. We yeah, it's broken. It. They're going to fix it. They're going to use, I think... That we want to wait for the baby birds to move out. Yep. Because then we can't, like, trap them. We, we can't trap hurt them. the mama bird out either. Either two aren't good for the family. Because, um, it's going to be stuck on there. Because I think they might glue it. Mm-hmm. We will fix it. Just like we did the other side. Yep. So we're just fixing our little planets here. It got windy a little over there, but that's fine. Was that your stomach or mine? I think my stomach grabbed it, that's okay. Yep. We always get hungry So I'm sometimes. adding my little craters that I had on this one back into it. Sound like an airplane. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I have a lot of 
planes fly over out here. Yep. Yeah, you can hear it. I gotta go use the bathroom real quick. Okay. So just take your time and make this a fun project. It can look however you want it to look. It can be our galaxy or it can be from a galaxy far, far away. It's your little world. It's what makes you happy. And I'm just lightening these just slightly with a little bit of blue. As you can see, I'm kind of mixing my paint right on my canvas a little. You can do it on the plate or you can do it on the canvas. And so I'm pretty happy with that. That one goes this way because you can tell from the yellow splatters. So I'm pretty happy with those planets. They're all kind of fixed. I might just highlight this one a little bit more. If you go through and put a little rim on it, then it makes it pop out a little more. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Just give it a little bit of a rim with this fine pointed brush. And that way it'll just stand out that much better. And it makes it pop off the surface a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Do a slight little tracing around on the edge. And then around the ring as well. I'm back. And you don't always have to catch up to your partner because we're not exactly like sharing anything well we're sharing the paint yeah we're sharing the paint but we're not sharing well we're sh we're not sharing our paintings so we don't like have to keep up with that other person nope, we're using our own imagination aren't we yep making it the way we want it mm -hmm. and there we go you can see that little bit of black makes those pop a little bit all right, so this should be dry, and it is. So I'm gonna go in and start doing my layering of the different colors I want in there. I don't know what planet I wanna do next. I might do maybe the same planet <coughs> as Nana. <coughs> but, Excuse me. Um, I don't really know, so. so we'll just keep going. Yep. So I'm just gonna start layering in some color here on top of that yellow. That sees perfect. I actually put a little line, but that's fine. It's not, we don't have to be perfect of with our paintings. No, this is exploration and paint. Explore new worlds, create your own new world. Yeah. Make it fun. I used another blue outline because um, um, my favorite color is blue and purple. I have a lot of favorite colors. I like all the colors. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what plant I'm, I mean planet I'm making. It kind of looks like Mickey. Yep. I'm just layering in color. We'll see how this one turns out. I don't know. If I don't like it, I'll just paint over it. Yep. I'm making a mini sun. It doesn't have to be the exact same color as your outline. Right, Nana? Right. You can make it however you want it. You just want it to make you happy. Mm-hmm. Make you feel good. Make you proud of something you created here. Mm-hmm. I really like that. Thank you. I'm just gonna kind of blend these colors together. 
with a semi-dry brush. I'm gonna add a little more to my planets from a whole nother universe. I don't know what my planets are from, but I for sure know my moon was from here. Like Nana said yesterday, it doesn't have to be exactly from the same universe as ours. That's right. It can always be a different universe. That's the fun of doing a galaxy painting. Mm -hmm. It can be from any galaxy you want. You can make up your own galaxy because space is pretty infinite. It goes on and on and on and they're finding more and more stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Our space station's up there right now. So we have astronauts out there. Yep. Taking pictures of cool stuff. I did kind of like a yellow path. I really like the way that looks that way. I like it too. So I think I'm gonna call that one about done. I'm gonna go in with my liner brush and I'm gonna give it a little bit of an outline. I used a bigger brush to make like a bigger path for my bigger universe. See? See, Nana? It kind of Beautiful. took away the stars, but Beautiful. it's always fine. Yes, it is. I'm gonna... It's gonna look beautiful hanging on your wall no matter what. Yep, or you can give it to your dad for Father's Day. Yeah. Or Papa. Or your Papa. My colors keep drying out. My paint is all sticky. Yeah, you just need to break the hard part. It gets a skin on it when it sits too far. Yeah. And it takes us a while to get these videos done, even though it doesn't look like it. Yeah. So sometimes our paint sits for a couple hours. Yeah, and then it gets all sticky. Like okay. my white is. I'm gonna add like a little purple to that path. And there we go. I'm gonna call this one done. So let's put it all together and see what it looks like. So we have that planet. Oh, that looks very cool, Nana. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Let's put yours together and see what they look like. So this one's mine. I hope this is coming through on the camera because these look really cool. Yeah, they if not, do. I'll be bringing them to the club to show everybody. I might do a little more stars. Yeah, you can do so more. So then they can like match up. And look how beautiful that is. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna use a little bit of purple. So, I hope you guys had fun with this one. Like I said, it was a triad. We have three different paintings. Yeah. We got them to look hey, similar by, by splattering the paint on the edges in the same area. Um, you can make your planets whatever you want them to look like. They don't even have to be planets. You can do some comets. You can do stars. You can do whatever you feel like doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're looking forward to seeing you on June 29th at the club. Our summer program starts with two weeks of tie-dyeing. Um, we had a lot of fun with that last year. We're hoping to have as much fun again this year. So, until then, you guys enjoy your painting. Happy painting. Make sure when you're done, you put your lids back on them. It'll keep your paint fresh for quite a while. That way, you'll be able to use it for quite a bit, actually. So, uh, you guys have fun and happy painting, huh, Hazel? Mm-hmm. Bye. Until Bye -bye. next time. See ya.